Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. Best picture of the year, 1919. Eddie Sakati won four categories in the year 1919. Most wins, 29. Most innings pinched, 306. Complete games, 30. Winning percentage, 805. 80% of the time you won. Eddie Sacati did not make the Baseball Hall of Fame. Let's look at his career. Started off 1905, 21 years old, won one game. Missed a couple years, then got going in 1908. 24 years old, wins 11 games. Respectable pitcher, 15, 10 wins here and there. 1919, actually 1917, he broke out, 28 wins. Then in 1919, he wins, he goes 29 and 7. For the Chicago White Sox. 806 winning percentage. Starts 35 games and finishes 30 of them. So he's very reliable. Good ERA. 1.82. 306 innings pitched. He was in there nine nine innings. Struck out 110, not that much. You would think 306 innings you'd have more strikeouts. So he finishes career. Pitched in 1920 and won 21 more games. So he has 209 career victories and 148 losses. But he didn't make the Baseball Hall of Fame. You all know the story. 1919 Chicago White Sox versus the Cincinnati Reds in the World Series. And the Reds beat them five games to three, I believe it was. But the accusation is that Chicago White Sox threw the World Series to gamblers, got paid some money, and Eddie Sicotti was one of the pitchers that was involved in what they call the Black Sox scandal, 1919. I think there are eight players indicted. They got off. They were acquitted. One of the players was Joe Jackson, some other players. But Eddie Sicotti was one of them. They accepted money or was in the negotiations. I don't know how much he got. I don't know the full story. I read the book. I've seen the movie. You've, you've heard about it. 1919 White Sox, Black Sox scandal. They threw the World Series. The pitchers were in on it. The ball players were in on it. They committed errors. Sometimes they played well, and other times they just booted it. And Commissioner Landis suspended and kicked out these eight guys after the 1920 season because it took a year to get all the facts going, and of course the trial and the testimony and all that. They were indicted, eight of players, but they were acquitted by a jury. But Landis threw out all eight guys, and one of them was Sicotti, didn't pitch again after 1920. Joe Jackson did not pitch again. And both of those guys did not make the Baseball Hall of Fame. Sicotti was only 36 years old in 1920. He could have pitched another four years, maybe another 40, 50 victories. Could have been around 260 career victories. Of course, if, if I was... Uh, I, I've read the, the book, Eight Men Out. I saw the movie, Eight Men Out. And I, re I read through all the... You know, the games they played and the players involved and all that. I don't... You can, you, can, you can read all about it. You can see it, the movie. But do we really know all the facts 
of how much participation all these players had in this scandal. Maybe they initially got into it, and maybe they changed their mind, and maybe they played well, and then they didn't play well, and then Sakati was good, and then he wasn't good, and then Jackson was good. And they say Jackson found $5,000 under his pillow. I don't know how much money Sakati got. So it's hard to get the complete story of how that series was thrown. Of course, they lost it. Five games to three, they were favored. In baseball, it's strange. Uh, you're playing the game, right? And let's say you intentionally want to do something. Does that affect the outcome of the game? Let's say you can boot three or four errors in a row. Still, though, you may have a chance to win the game. And they lost some of those games because of the errors. But they also won some games in that series. Three games they won. And Joe Jackson hit well. I think Sakati had one good outing. Two outings were bad. But if you're throwing the ball over the plate, and let's say intentionally you want the guy to hit it, what if he doesn't have the ability to hit it? Even though you're trying to let the guy hit it, he may still not hit it. So it's, it's a paradox. One thing I do know, Eddie Sakati is not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's a fact. Number two, Judge Landis kicked him out of baseball after the 1920 season, so that's a fact. Three, Sakati was one of the guys that was indicted, so that's a fact. How much participation he had? I'm not 100% sure on all the facts there. But an interesting character in the history of baseball, Eddie Sakati. Had some good years, won 209 career games, 2.38 ERA. That's pretty good. 3,000 innings. He goes 29-7 and 7 in 1919. And in the World Series, I think he lost two games. I kind of feel bad just talking about this guy. Why? Because he's involved in that. Black Sox scandal, which was really is a stain on Major League Baseball. It really is. Why would a team throw the World Series? You're going to get winnings, winnings from the World Series. But if you're going to talk to gamblers to try to get even more money, is that really worth it? And then to be kicked out of baseball. And what were these eight guys thinking? These eight ball players being involved with the gamblers. What were they thinking? I mean, your whole career, if you're um, caught, is over. Your whole career is over. And it turned out that Eddie Sakati's career was over after 1920. Shameful, shameful situation that happened with the Chicago White Sox in the 1919 World Series. And Eddie Sakati was one of the guys that got indicted. 1919. I'm going to give the best pitcher to Eddie Sakati. But after that, he's gone. And no baseball Hall of Fame. He looked like a good pitcher. 209 wins. That's pretty good. But he blew it. All right, we're done with that year. I didn't like covering that year. Because of the Chicago White Sox scandal and Eddie Sakati And Joe Jackson. And some of those other guys. All right, next video will be 1920. We'll see who the best pitcher is there. Talk to you later. I'm out.